speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Fret not thyself because of the ungodly, neither be thou envious against the evildoers. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and be withered even as the green herb. Put thou thy trust in the Lord, and be doing good. Dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thou in the Lord, and he shall give thee thy heart's desire. Commit thy way unto the Lord, and put thy trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall make thy righteousness as clear as the light, and thy just healing as the noonday. Hold thee still in the Lord, and abide patiently upon him. But grieve not thyself at him whose way doth prosper against the man that doeth after evil counsels. Leave off from wrath and let go displeasure. Fret not thyself, else shalt thou be moved to do evil. Wicked doers shall be rooted out. And they that patiently abide the Lord, though shall inherit the land. Yet a little while, and the ungodly shall be clean gone. Thou shalt look after his place, and he shall be away. But the meek spirited shall possess the earth, and shall be refreshed in the multitude of peace. The ungodly seeketh counsel against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh him to scorn, for he hath seen that his day is coming. The ungodly have drawn out the sword, and have bent their bow, to cast down the poor and needy, and to slay such as are of a right conversation. Their sword shall go through their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. A small thing that the righteous hath is better than great riches of the ungodly, for the arms of the ungodly shall be broken, and the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the godly, and their inheritance shall endure forever. They shall not be confounded in the perilous time, and in the days of dearth they shall have enough. As for the ungodly, they shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall consume as the fat of lambs. Yea, even as the smoke shall they consume away. The ungodly borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous is merciful and liberal. Such are as blessed of God shall possess the land, and they that are cursed of him shall be rooted out. The Lord, the Lord ordereth a good man's going, and maketh his way acceptable to himself. Though he fall, he shall not be cast away, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, 
and yet saw I never the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging their bread. The righteous is as merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Flee from evil, and do the thing that is good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth the thing that is right, he forsaketh not his that be godly, but they are preserved forever. The unrighteous shall be punished, as for the seed of the ungodly, it shall be rooted out. The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous is exercised in wisdom, and his tongue will be talking of judgment. The law of God is in his heart, and his going shall not slide. The ungodly seeth the righteous, and seeketh occasion to slay him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Hope thou in the Lord, and keep in his way, and he shall promote thee, that thou shalt possess the land. When the ungodly shall perish, thou shalt see it. I myself have seen the ungodly in great power, and flourishing like a green bay tree. I went by, and lo, he was gone. I sought him, but his place could nowhere be found. Keep innocency, and take heed unto the thing that is right, for that shall bring a man peace at the last. As for the transgressors, they shall perish together, and the end of the ungodly is, they shall be rooted out at the last. But the salvation of the righteous cometh of the Lord, who is also their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall stand by them and save them. He shall deliver them from the ungodly, and shall save them, because they put their trust in him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the sixth chapter of the prophecy of Isaiah, beginning at the first verse. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth, and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord, saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go, and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. 
Make the hearts of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. And the Lord have removed men far away, and there will be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. But yet in it shall be a tenth, and it shall return and shall be eaten as a tail tree and as an oak whose substance is in them, and they cast their leaves. So the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. Here ends the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is written in the fifth chapter of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning at the 21st verse. Ye have heard that it was said of them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. It hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, 
committeth adultery. Again, ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oaths. But I say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Here ends the second lesson. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And you, thy ministers, with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Lord, we beseech thee to keep thy household, the church, in continual godliness that through the protection it may be free from all adversities and devoutly given to serve thee in good works and to the glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. 
Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray this evening for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For civilian women, children, and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatred of humanity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For peacemakers and for peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, especially Elizabeth, our Queen, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honor the past, may we put our faith in your future for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>